another one of my favorite supplements that uh, people I think really notice a benefit from is B12. So B12 is naturally found um, really in animal sources. So meat, fish, eggs, dairy, all of those places you'll find B12. That being said, a lot of people with digestive issues, whether it's gastritis or you know really a lot of different digestive symptoms don't seem to absorb b12 well uh, SIBO is another one there's a lot of conditions where the b12 just doesn't get absorbed appropriately and so um, even if people are eating you know plenty of meat or plenty of sources of b12 they might still have a low level um, B12 is a water soluble vitamin and so it's something that um, you can you'd really should take every day if you're supplementing it because basically you'll pee it, pee it out. Um, so it's not one that you can, you know, you can take it occasionally, but you might not notice a benefit then every day. Um, and it's hard to overdo B12, again, because you do pee out the extra. So, you know, generally we think of this as a, as a pretty safe supplement. Um, one of my top reasons to for people to take it would be uh, for energy. So B12 is really important for energy um, and it's also good for nerve health. So, um, if I'm recommending a B12, I brought two examples here. You can, um, if you have digestive problems or symptoms, um, I really like a sublingual form because it absorbs in your mouth. And so you're kind of just bypassing any issues that are going on in the gut where maybe that's why you're not um, absorbing your B12. So if you have a low value or you're tired and you're eating meat, um, I would try a sublingual form. You're gonna wanna take it in the morning because really if it's for energy, that's when you're gonna get most of the benefit. I probably wouldn't take it right at night. Um, and if you're doing it sublingually, you can do it, you can find it sometimes as almost a little wafer, or something that melts under your tongue. Um, this one that I happen to have at home, um, again, the brand, we're not necessarily endorsing a certain brand. This is just one that I happen to have, um, is a liquid. Um, it has black currant in it and that's why it's red. Um, so your pee may look yellow if you're taking a B as a, um, either as a B12 um, sublingual or this one is an, a B complex. And so you can see when you open it, um, kind of orangey yellow. Um, and so this one is as a capsule. So with B12, um, you know, with the sublingual form, you can start with maybe about a thousand micrograms a day as a good starting dose if you're just taking it by itself. Um, this is a 5,000, so you can kind of work your way up. Um, some people are sensitive, even though it's just a vitamin and it's one that's found in food, there are different forms that you'll find if you go to your health food store or pharmacy. So um, one form that's a typical one is called cyanocobalamin. Um, that's what we called kind of an inactive form. Uh, there's other forms out there. This is called methylcobalamin, which is sort of the activated form. So this is one that your body has to kind of convert um, one form to the other. And for different reasons that we'll get into in future videos, some people don't convert well. So you could try the methylated form, which is the methylcobalamin, um, and see how it feels. You know, ultimately with every supplement, you need to see how your body experiences that supplement. Even if someone else swears by something, if it doesn't work for you, really listen to that. Um, some people don't tolerate the active form. So really, you know, it's important to see what your body really likes. Um, if you're getting a, a complex, that can work because you're getting all the other Bs. And so again, a lot of people, if you're deficient in one B, you might be deficient in other ones. Um, and you can take it as a, as a capsule if that works for you. Um, so again, great in the morning, starting around maybe a thousand or 500 micrograms a day. You can kind of work your way up, hard to overdo it. If it makes you feel a little jittery, then it's probably too much and kind of back down. Um, and you can see if it helps.